Joe comes out smoking, I ain't gonna be joking. I'll be pecking and a poking, pouring water on his smoking. This might shock and amaze you, but I will retire Joe Frazier. I have a lot of speed and a lot of endurance. Wanna meet Frazier, he'll need more insurance. I'm glad he can sing and has a band for hire because after this fight, he must retire. And you can hear the people say, leaving New York City, that Joe Frazier was really a pity. I meet Joe Frazier, it'll be like comparing a prop jet with a full motor uh, tur uh, jet. And it'll be like comparing a uh, Rolls Royce with a Cadillac, an amateur with a professional. is nine and a half pounds heavier. He's 15 stone five against 14, nine and four inches taller. We shall see Frazier come forward like this, shuffling in, looking for the chance to get the big one in. Clay, dancing fast on the tassel. And the early points of the first minute are all Clay. He picks his man off from a distance. And Clay looks out and says, he didn't hurt me. Frazier gets picked off as he tries to move in and he's going to have to take a lot of those just dies. Nine and a half pounds heavier. He's telling at close quarters. A good right hand from play. Frazier's hook's falling short. That's a good left hook and he gets it under the head of play and Clay's hurt. What a good right hand from play. What a fight this is turning out to be. Frazier keeps coming forward and this is what he's always going to do. Good left hook from Fraser. Fraser. This time Ali does not shake his head. A lot of them on the arms. And Clay's talking to Fraser now. And Fraser is really up to get it's amazing that Frazier can stand up under that battering. And he is scoring himself. That's a good left hook and he catches Clay. And these two are really testing each other for the full. This is the best heavyweight championship fight for many years. Nose. This tremendous heavyweight championship resumes action and Frazier straight at his man and the punches are... Muhammad Ali is piling up a tremendous That's amount it. of points. Stage of the game, he is way ahead, no question. Clay still whips the right hand in across the face of Frazier. No cuts yet. The greater number of punches being landed by Clay in this round as he moves back. There's the big about him. And he comes thumping back with two big ones himself. From second to second. And it's noticeable that the talking has stopped. Clay's got his work cut out now with this fight and he knows it. Good one, two, and a jab. Now Frazier is mimicking Ali. Here, it is not Joe Frazier. Look at that hook. Bert Lancaster said that Joe Frazier was like a tank. That's just what he is. He just can't st keep sticking that chin out, though. Exactly what he did with Liston. And funnily enough, round about this stage of the fight. Play's not worked much in this round. We could be in for a very long fight here now by the look of it. Look like the style it. this man's got.
He's got 10 seconds to make it. Oh, what a big pumping. This is really astounding, the way he treats this man, Frazier. And I think Clay's won this round right because... When he really applies himself to it, he looks really good. And he looks as though he can handle Frazier when he really sets himself to it. But this windmill of a machine... because if he takes another hammering like the one he took in the ninth, he could be in real trouble. He <laughs> attacks together any longer. He comes forward. He's complaining about the referee and asking his manager to come and tell the referee to lay off him because he feels he's getting a raw deal in the clinches. He's being told to lay off play and he doesn't want it. Frazier taking that battering again. Started better by Fraser. It's a reversal of what happened in the earlier rounds. Joe well, trying to get that shot in there. Mahali, Muhammad talks to him again. Not much happening, I'll say. And Frazier has gotten wild. He's lost the good timing he had earlier. Lost the rhythm. champion has really got to pull something out now. And he's in trouble again and Fraser gets after him. Ali. The legs have gone. He's not moving. First collapse of Cassius Clay. That's a good right hand. Good left hook from Clay again there. And he's with good punches again as the champion comes in. The body shot there. Clay, Clay started talking to him again. They look very puffed indeed now. But he's still in there to fight. Flogging in those body shots. A minute now. The bell coming up. Tremendous lumps now have come up around. Fraser. Frazier talking to Clay. Good punches from Clay. And I saw the inside of Frazier's mouth then as it popped over. 
and his looks really are changing now. The shape of his face is changing. He's got some and final round. Referee Arthur McCanny has them touch gloves, something they've been doing all night. Now, Muhammad Ali's going to go... Oh, there it is! The left hook. Frazier, the first caught up with him. The fight is automatically stopped. And Clay is fighting for survival. The crowd, needless to say, is in a bedlam. Oh, what a shot! If Joe had followed that up, he would have finished it. The whole of the side of Clay's face, the right-hand side, is scarlet and swollen. Here it comes. It's over, and it's gone the distance. And Frazier gives him a contemptuous... A unanimous decision, and still, heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. A unanimous decision. Ali, how, does it, how does it feel to have, for the first time in your professional career, have lost? I feel you have obligation to many thousands of fans who are pulling for you, who are crying, and they're worrying about you and how you feel. And I think if they can see that you realize that uh, I'm human and I realize that uh, we all have to lose and life's still going on, then they'll feel strong. I think a celebrity or any so-called great person have obligation to fulfill, to uh, take defeat like a man so they can take their defeats when they have them because we all are going to have various defeats in life, whether it be loss of loved ones or wealth or titles. And many people just can't stand these pressures and they crack up on them. And when a man can come through this, after so many years of victory and been so supreme in his field and able to handle the defeat also victorious, then this make him a bigger man.